Hello and welcome to another tutorial inside in our series of Android Kotlin and Firebase tutorials. In the following part, I will uh, add a star show and will show you in this small part how to use the maps activity and how to connect it to elements in our collection. Uh, that's why it's somewhat related to the collection part, the version tutorial that we've seen before and uh, how to show uh, different pins on a, on a map. So to start off, I will create in the activities option here. I already have one from before. I will create a new maps activity. If you go with me to new activity and, sorry, one second, uh, new activity. You have, we will have, we should have the option to create a map based activity, which I am not able to see. Let's go to gallery and in gallery, we can choose the Google maps activity, which I didn't see before. doesn't matter. That's the one we want to create. And we will create that one inside the maps activity here. I will call it maps activity two with its own layout name, map activity maps two. Okay. Title map. You can change that if you want. And what you can also do is to, oh, uh, can also do is to make it as a launcher activity. We don't want to make it a launcher activity because we already have a login uh, activity as a launcher activity. That is why we will keep it like that. I will put and we'll press on next or just finish. So once we press on finish, you, the first thing that you will see, it will generate a file in the values uh, folder called Google Maps app API.xml. Okay. Now in my case, because I already had it in my project called, uh, already had it, you will see that in, in mine has this code here, which you don't have. Okay. In your case, it will say that you have to change your code comes here or something like that. It will say, okay, that is why, because in our case, if we are going to use a service that is like it's in this case, a service that comes with Google, uh, Google play service, which is maps, we have to ask permission or at least to activate this service in our Google console. Okay. Now, because we've been working with Firebase uh, and Firebase works really, it operates on, on in the Google system because it's a Google product. It shouldn't be too complicated to add this option to do that. In your case, if you did, never did an, a project in Google cloud, yeah, Google cloud project, you just copy this line here. In my case, number line seven, line seven, which is probably the same with you. You have to copy this link until the last point here. Yes. You copy and we pass it here to your browser and it will automatically ask you to create a project. In my case, I already have the projects created and I don't have to do it. But in your case, because here, if you don't have any other projects, then you will have to create one. You press continue and you will follow the steps to create the project. I can't do it because I don't have enough projects. I can change. Let me, the thing is, if I change it to this one, I will try to do it with this one here. Okay. So if I press a, pro a create project, I choose the country. I like to activate periodic emails. I just put no, and then you agree. Once you agree, it will generate a project. It will let it work and it will generate a project and add it automatically your app to this project. It's still working. As you can see, it enabling the API and it's finished. Now the following step is to create an API key. We press on this. And as you can see, it will show us already the configuration of our Google app API, my project here. Now the code you have to choose copy is this one here. Now you can't see it completely. So you have to copy it using this button here. You copy copy to the clipboard, then you come here and you pass it here. All codes start with the, the letters A, I, Z, A. 
okay? Now you change this and you put your own and with that you should have all the configurations for maps Google Maps to work ready to work with. Okay, once you change this one, we go to our development part. Now, you will see that in the activities, I have Max Activity 2. If we press on Max Activity 2, well, this is a small error that you may not have. I have it because it didn't import correctly the... If you have, remember you have to import always the Android R uh, related to your project, which is this one here. Okay. Um, so, you will see that he created an activity, completely new activity, that is using the layout, activity maps. If we go to activity maps to XML, you'll see it has nothing else than a fragment. Uh, or, uh, between us, you could have just created a fragment instead of an activity. But I just wanted to create activity because when you create the activity, it also creates all the, all the uh, um, uh, configurations like the Google Maps API XML and so on. Something, something that you will need always if you want to work with maps. Now, what's the trick here? I can tell you what's the trick. The trick is to create an activity, a maps activity, and follow the same process that I'm doing right now. And then later on, if you don't want to have it in an act a separate activity, just use the fragment, not the activity. It should be working because it's the same for all, and it will be your program will be automatically configured. So, if I go to maps activity two file class, you will have you see two uh, two functions: the onCreate function that we have in all activities, which again uh, tells us that the activity will use the XML activity maps two. And it will refer, it will make a reference okay, to the fragment in question. We didn't see it until now, but now you can see how how the system, okay, how you can find instead of find view by ID, it's find fragment by ID. It's a way to have a reference of the fragment in a in a variable. The next step is the execution of the get map async. Why? Because the map is a service that comes from out of our app. It's outside of our application. So it requires for our application to request an async connection to the map. Once the map responds with an OK, it will respond through here. If when, when, when the map responds, it responds with an OK, I'm ready to be used. And in that moment, I'm ready and I'm loaded. That's when it's telling it. On map ready. And it gives us the reference to the map, which is between us, this and this, this and this are the same thing. Sorry, no, 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 I didn't say that. It's a completely different element. Okay, so we have the reference to the map itself. We store it in a file, in a variable, sorry, that is called mmap. And on that map, we can start doing our job, our work. We can start modifying the map. We can start working on the map. Specifically, in this case, what it's doing, it's um adding uh it's creating a point latitude longitude point called sydney and then it's adding a marker which is a which is a pin on the map with the title marker in sydney in the position sydney which is this one here and finally in the last line it's moving the camera of the map it's moving the map to look on the pin on the on the pin of the of sydney so if i execute the app yes what we will see is the following thing. If you remember this from the previous tutorial, if I execute the app, let's see what happens. Wait, so what's happening? What's not showing the map? Very simple. I didn't change in the, remember we have in the main activity login, okay, as a login process. So all, the app always enters through the main activity. But then if the, if the user is already uh, connected or there is a session open or if the user logged in, we'd move to the course scoring activity. So now we have to change this to maps, to map activity two, okay? Here and here. So if the user logs in or if the user is already logged, you go directly to the maps activity. Let's try it again. So as you can see, and you can also try it in your phones, we are looking on the pin that has to do with Sydney that was just created in the Massachusetts 2 in these lines here between 39 and 41. 
The next part of our tutorial will show you how to connect this to, for example, Firebase. So we can see put pins of different products on the map. 